saved. And now listen to what I call the scariest verse in the New Testament. You think the scariest verse is going to hell? No. The scariest verse in the New Testament is verse 11 of 2 Thessalonians 2 that God himself will deceive you. Now I'll tell you, the devil is called a deceiver. Revelation 12, 8 to 10. The devil is a deceiver of the whole world. Ephesians 4, verse 22, I think says, my lusts are deceitful. The devil is deceitful. He's a deceiver. My lusts are deceitful. Jeremiah 17, verse 9 says, the heart is deceitful above all things. Look at the things that are out to deceive me. Satan, my lusts, a heart. My only salvation is if God protects me from deception. And if God also begins to deceive me, I'm doomed. And it says here, God will deceive some people. Read it. Have you read that verse? That's why I say it's the scariest verse in the New Testament. If Almighty God also joins the forces to deceive me, I'm finished. There's no hope for me. I can think I'm very clever. I'm smart. I know the Bible. But if God tries to deceive me, I'm finished. The devil can try as much as he likes. If God is on my side, the devil will not be able to deceive me. My lust will not be able to deceive me. My heart will not be able to deceive me. I must have God on my side. Now, who are the people whom God allows to be deceived? Who are the people? It says God will send upon them a deluding influence so that they may believe what is false. You mean God makes people believe what is false? Read your scripture. God will make them believe a lie. He'll make them believe they are born again when they are not born again. I have met numerous people like that. He will make them believe that they are filled with the spirit when they are not filled with the spirit. They don't manifest the spirit of Christ. He'll make them believe that they have a certain gift of the spirit when they don't have the gift of the spirit. Take the matter of speaking in tongues. I believe there's a tremendous amount of deception in this area. A lot of counterfeit tongues. I've heard numerous counterfeit tongues myself. See, unfortunately, the word tongues has been translated tongues. What it means is language. Tongues is language. They spoke in other languages on the day of Pentecost. And in 1 Corinthians 14, it's a gift of speaking in a language, a supernatural gift, a language you never learned. But it's a language. And I'll tell you the deception I think.